you take a look at the Hornets, considered the favorites. What do you think they need to do to keep going? Well, you have to play to your strengths. Don't allow your opponent to speed you up or slow you down. And stick to your brand of basketball. And the Cleveland starting five. Mobley out there with Jakob Pertl. Then it's Jalen Brown. Then there's Ivy. And it's Murphy in at the small forward position. Now here's Mobley. Just four to shoot. Here's Brown. That one goes in. I think that's where Brown is at his best, guys. He's a muscular athlete who loves finishing strong through contact. And here's Ball. McGee, a screen on Brown. Ball no good. It's Brown on the wing. Can't get it to drop. And Charlotte going the other way now. Martin, the pass to Green. Uses the glass to finish the layup. We know Green prefers to work up close. He loves getting those high percentage looks. And here's Brown for three. Another miss by Brown. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Pass the ball. Let's go with a three. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, oh, he's an incredible ball handler. At 6'7, Lamelo can get space for his shot practically anytime he wants to. And here's Brown. Here's Murphy. Outside, Brown. Mobley, a screen on Barton. Brown passes to Mobley. Over Green. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. throws good for Mobley and here are the Hornets now pass to Green first quarter just about two minutes in ball passes to McGee it's good can the assist that time from ball I like the fact that McGee not just going through the motions here I mean setting a good solid screen timing his roll perfectly that's uh, basketball 101 there. Now here's Brown. Off target with a jump hook. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys. And you can sense his frustration. Back to ball. Fires the three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. They've really come out swinging. Hitting four of their first five shots. And the Cavaliers call time here. Mellow Ball is must-see TV. He is so much fun to watch. An exciting young all-star plays with such verve and confidence. And his passing ability, incredible. And as a result, he's in the highlight reel more often than not. Williams has checked in for Pirtle. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Ball against Brown. Here's Barton. He's off on that one. And it's Cleveland the other way. And talking about LaMelo, his game has caught the attention of the legend, Magic Johnson. There were few that did it anywhere near the level that Magic did it at, with his enthusiasm and creativity as a passer and that winning karma that he brought to the Lakers. And he likes LaMelo's basketball IQ and actually even compared LaMelo to himself, which to me is the highest order of praise. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Team. And for the Cavaliers, 
Bruce Brown. Martin outside. Pass to Green. Five to shoot. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. And the ball out of play. The Cavaliers will have it. And the Cavaliers make it a change here. Cavaliers substitution. Jacob Hurdle. Monte Morris. The Cavaliers have gone one of five to start things off. Pass to Pirtle. Morris outside. Back to Pirtle. Now here's Morris. Hounded by ball. Here's Murphy. Drops in the three. He's consistent from out there. Especially when you give him that kind of room. Barton outside. Green with a screen on Brown. And here's Barton outside. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Outside, Brown. Shoots over Barton. Brown can't hit. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Pass to McGee. Green in the post. He's working on Morris. And it's hammered home by Green. I love the show of force by Green. Putting the defense on notice with the jam. Here's Murphy. Back to Morris. And he lobs it up to the rim. Throw it down on the lob. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Well, you need both to make it special. And they pulled it off just right. Now here's Barton. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Williams. And stolen by Green. Here's Ball. The three is up. Murphy pulls it in. Now here's Brown. Morris sets a screen. And here is Williams. Pass to Murphy. Six on the shot clock. And here's Brown for three. No good there. And Charlotte going the other way now. Up top, Barton. Defended by Brown. Right wing. Morris against Ball. Here's Pokashevsky. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. And Ball definitely has the passing DNA. Some of his dime drops are really sweet. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. Russell Westbrook comes in for Barton. And 
There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Ivy. Oh, McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot block. Now here's Westbrook. He didn't look good in their loss to the Nets the other night. A minute 15 left in the first quarter. There's a screen. Pass to Mobley. Here's Murphy. Clock at six. This one for three. Gets the three ball to go. Give him eight. Boy, Brown not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. Westbrook outside. Inside. Here's McGee. Off target with a jump hook. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Mobley and screen on Westbrook. McGee with a steal. Westbrook against Pirtle. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, you watch Westbrook play, and he seems like he's relentlessly hungry and borderline angry. He never settles, always in full attack mode. First personal foul. What's up? Second team foul. At the line for your Hornets, Russell Westbrook. Falls for Westbrook. Hey, you can't diminish Westbrook's triple doubles, but just as important to me are the intangibles. His passion, his tenacity, his competitive spirit and drive. I mean, that infects the whole team in a positive way. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Puts up a three. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Hornets leading by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. to second quarter action of this NBA play-in game. Taking a look at the Hornets' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. The Hornets with the lead. On the court for the Cavaliers. They've got Evan Mobley. Jalen Brown is out there with Ivy. Then there's Grant Williams. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stop. The classic play that time by Westbrook, making space with the pick and roll to create for his team. Brown in the high post. Williams a screen on Westbrook. Brown finds Williams. And Williams punches it home. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. And here's Brown for three. And the Cavaliers, another three. You know, the three-point shot, guys, is something that Brown continues to improve upon. It's important for him to be knocking down these looks to expand his offensive repertoire. Now here's Westbrook doing some damage on the offensive end, putting up a little over 14 points a game. Pass to Washington. The three is up. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist by Washington. Westbrook's got six points. You know, so often we see Westbrook with the ball driving or pulling up off the dribble. He can catch and shoot it just as well. The Hornets have gone two of four here in the second quarter. 
Ball passes to Westbrook. Back to Ball. And he's going for the lob! And McGee with the stop. This kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Tons of hype around the mellow ball. The third overall pick in 2020. Just like you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, although the draft was a little different back in my day. But let me tell you, B.A., there is so much pressure being a top three pick. It's really impressive that LaMelo has lived up to the lofty expectations. Charlotte making some changes. Draymond Green comes in for Washington. And Okashevsky subbed in for Neesman. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Brown against Westbrook. The baseline, Jay. A oh, nice shot by Brown. He's got seven. I like the confidence and the assurance that Brown is taking these shots with. I mean, his mid-range game is actually on point. The three, Westbrook. And the Hornets, another three. That's his second triple this quarter. I guess he's left that dry spell behind. Outside, Brown. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Russell Westbrook. Well, I like the fact that the energy that Brown plays with makes him a guy that does a good job getting to the line. Line for two. First free throw is good. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. The Hornets making a switch here. Jones is checked in. And Cleveland with a change here too. Murphy, he's checked in for Williams. Good on both. He's making the most of every trip to the line. Providing for his team. Pass to Westbrook. Westbrook can't hit. The Cavs have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Brown against Ball. With the 10-footer. And he hits the jumper. Brown's got nine points in the quarter. And Brown is just so physically imposing. I mean, especially inside where he usually gets whatever he wants. Green, the pass to Ball. Picked by Pokashevsky. Off target from three-point range. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Yep, that one's good. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Here's Westbrook. He's got nine. Hurdle grabs a miss. Cleveland has gone three of six from deep so far. Pass to Ivy. Hurdle is screen on Jones. To the paint. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. You know, I also like the fact they've been really aggressive in attacking from behind the arc. They could do a lot of damage from there tonight. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Boy, Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. Ball outside. Over Morris. Misses off the right iron. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here's Murphy, hounded by Ball. With a nine-footer, Murphy's shot is good. He's got ten. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Time out, time out. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Now a timeout called by Charlotte.
finisher. You have to get out. Left. Here he is. Switch here also for Cleveland. Mobley's checked in. Green finds Barton. Down low. Just five to shoot. Pass to Pokashevsky. Charlotte again missing. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Let's it fly. Offensive rebound. Mobley. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Mobley's got his second bucket on the night. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Jones, the pass to Barton. Here's Pokashevsky. Here's Green. Covered by Mobley. And here's Barton outside. Counted from distance. Barton's got himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Murphy. To the middle. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look. And that's exactly how you draw it up. Fires in the triple. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no-no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. A minute and a half left in the half. Williams finds Morris. It's a mark. And it's good on the lay-in. And the Cavaliers lead by three. And you'd think their lead would hold as long as they continue to shoot like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. Connects from downtown. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Cleveland calls timeout. Washington's checked in for Jones, and it's Neesmith in for Pokashevsky. We've got 108 left in the first half. Brown passes to Mobley. Mobley on a screen. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Barton with it. Now guarded by Brown. 
Here's Maladon. Right now contributing around 10.5 points a game. Back to Barton. The three. Nice D from Brown. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Ivy. Now Pirtle. Shoots over Neesmith. The shot by Pirtle no good. And here's Barton. We gotta move past that one. I mean, they want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into the half. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Greetings, one and all. The postseason drama we love and no disappointment here as it's a close game so far for the Charlotte Hornets. When you get hot from the distance, you're always in the game. Question is, what more can they do to pull ahead? I'm just not seeing it. Your vision is cloudy, Shaq Stradamus. What's happened to that crystal ball, man? And looking at where the Hornets stand in the series. They've kept this one close so far. In this elimination game, what's the key for the second half, Shaq? Don't give the ball away. Make your other teams work for it. And stay hungry like me. You better be hungry. In a close game like this, you can't afford a lapse of focus, so they have to stick with it. Should be a ton of fun. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to 2K Sports coverage of the play-in game as we move to the second half of action. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Will Barton is out there with LaMelo Ball. Then there's Draymond Green. Then there's JaVale McGee. And it's Pokashevsky in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Steve Clifford. Here's Ivy. Pass to Pirtle. To the inside. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Now here's Green. Guarded closely. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hey, good follow through by Green. He doesn't get thrown off by the aggressive defense there. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. On the wing, Barton. From the arc. And the Hornets, another three. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. Shot clock at six. Pass to McGee. Over Ivy. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys, outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. And the Cavaliers call time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely.
over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Pass to Brown. Mobley with it. Four on the clock. Here's Murphy to halt the run. Ooh, he's locked in. Green just fifth shot in his many attempts. He's doing his best to carry him, fellas, but he can only do so much. Things would be different for them if he was getting a little more help. Ball finds Green. Barton outside. Picked by Pokashevsky. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. Pass to Pirtle. Shoots over ball. Gets rebounded by Charlotte. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. Brown against ball. Green in the post. And here's Barton outside. Gets the three to fall. Barton's got 12 points. Barton catches fire and he keeps after it, as well he should. I mean, he wants to score as much as possible when he's rolling like that. Brown can't hit. Charlotte has gone three or four from outside in the second half. And watching Draymond Green play, Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. Richardson's checked in for Charlotte. Russell Westbrook comes in for Martin. Williams has checked in for Cleveland. Brown comes in for Brown. Personal foul. Find the lane. Find the lane. Shooting for Cleveland. ID at the line. One shot. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Ball outside. Inside. Oh, deflected. McGee a screen. Ball passes to McGee. And McGee with the stop. Oh, this is a night to remember for McGee. A force on the floor. You cannot overstate what a presence he's been tonight. Pass to Williams. To the inside, Ivy. An easy two on the layup. Ivy's got five points now in the quarter. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Takes a step back. McGee a screen. Ball passes to McGee. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Wonderful anticipation that time from Pirtle. Positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. Here's Ivy. He has seven. Brown passes to Williams. Clock at four. Ooh, McGee with the block. It's out of bounds to Cleveland. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Charlotte making some changes. Washington comes in for Pokashevsky, and it's Neesmith in for LaMelo Ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. Offensive board. Murphy. Ooh, McGee with the block. Here's Neesmith looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Washington. Here's Neesmith. Six on the shot clock. Richardson against Brown. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. The Cavs trailing. To the paint. Here's Ivy. 
That shot off the mark. Good D by Richardson. The Hornets have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Washington passes to Westbrook. Pass to McGee. Second chance effort. And he takes it up and lays it in. McGee's got 15. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Here's Ivy. Launches a three. Knocks down the long J. Ten points for him. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Down low. It's tipped and stolen by Williams. 133 left to play in the third quarter here. Hurdle with a screen on Westbrook. Williams up top. Pass to Ivy. Five on the clock. Hurdle with a screen on Westbrook. And here's Ivy from the arc. Here's Hurdle. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Hurdle's gotten his second bucket of the game. They have not attempted as many threes here in the second half, which I'm scratching my head about. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. Jones, he's checked in for McGee. Substitution on the court. One minute left to play in the third. Westbrook against Morris. Let's it go from 11. They get it back. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Takes a 13-footer. Richardson, that's good. And the Hornets lead by five. That time, Richardson defaulted to the mid-range shot. We know he can shoot him from deep, but mixing in that mid-range, it'll keep the defense off balance. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Pass to Washington. Off target with the three. Williams on the wing, defended by Jones. Williams, a screen on Richardson. One second left. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Hornets. They lead by five. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we welcome you back as we head into the fourth quarter of this decisive play-in game. And Cleveland, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. They've got Jalen Brown, Mobley, out there with Jakob Pertl. Then there's Ivy, and it's Murphy in at the three. Now here's Ball. Westbrook, the pass to Green. And he makes it. And baskets like this get Green fired up. When you get physical with him, he takes it personally. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Charlotte. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. At the line for one. Yeah, in terms of winners in NBA history, you have the resume of Draymond Green. Cleveland has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. The jump hook. Brown can't hit. The Hornets with the lead. Three-pointer. 
hits the three-pointer. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Mobley. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignite. There's ball with a three. Kept alive by Charlotte. Outside, green. Picked by Pokashevsky. Goes back up. And it's green off the drive. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the willingness of green to sacrifice for the play. Getting physical and getting fouled on the drive. At the line. The first free throw is good. The Hornets making a switch here. McGee's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Ivy. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Murphy. Here's Ivy. Six to shoot. Banked it in off the glass. Ivy's got seven now in this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Green. Pass to Pokashevsky. And he stays with it. Now ball. Outside, Green. Picked by Pokashevsky. Another shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Green is so clever at forcing the D's hand. Got to be careful how you guard him inside. At the line for Charlotte. Green. At the line for two. And he makes the first. Williams has checked in for the Cavaliers. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. That's exactly how you do it. Defender pressing up on you, you press right back. Now here's Brown. Mobley on a screen. Let's the three fly. Brown can't hit. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Pass to McGee. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. McGee's got nine points now in the second half. Brown with screen on Ball. Now here's Williams. Left side, Brown. Here's Ivy. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets Ball. A different look for Cleveland. Pirtle comes in from Mobley. And it's Brown in for Brown. Charlotte has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Ball right side. 
And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You know, possessing outstanding height at his position. Ball excels at using that size and his body control to convert through contact. Falls for ball. You can just see the promise ball has. It's oozing out of him. Already a triple double threat, and he rebounds it so well in this position. Man, the future is really bright for this young man. Here's Murphy. Pass to Ivy. Here's Murphy. Just five to shoot. Williams with the screen from the arc. Rebounded by Green. Green's got five rebounds tonight. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Jakob Pertl. What offensive effort from Green. Backing off the shot isn't even a consideration for him. For your Green. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. For Cleveland, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Murphy. Here's Ivy. Will it go? Hauled in by McGee. McGee's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pokashevsky. Hurdle with the block. Here's Ivy. Puts it up from 12. That one a little long. To the middle. And it's hammered home by Green. Yeah, and Green is having a solid night offensively. I'm sure the bench is really enjoy seeing him light it up. Brown passes to Pirtle. Here's Ivy. Pounded by Ball. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. Ivy at the line. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Brown. And hit the second. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Now here's Barton. Here's Ivy. It's Brown on the wing. There's the three. On target from range. Drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. The Hornets have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Barton, the pass to Ball. Barton with a screen on Brown. Here's Ball. Cans it from short range. Ball's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, that's a nice effort from Ball in the paint that time. Working hard to find a way to get that shot off. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit. But it has to be a team effort. 
Ball against Brown. And Ball gets it to go. And the Hornets lead by 14. You know, because Ball is so skilled, defenders try to get physical with him, rough him up a bit, but it doesn't phase him. That rarely works against Ball. The Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in. And both free throws good for Brown. One forty nine left to play in the fourth. Outside. And McGee with the stuff. All you got to do is get open and balls handling the rock. He's going to find you. The Mello's got incredible passing the A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got 20. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes, they last days. Now here's Ball. Green, the pass to Ball. Clock at six. Back to Green. Over Mobley. They get the rebound. Here's McGee. And he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Hornets. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. They credit is due. They were under a ton of pressure tonight and powered through it. A clutch performance. And with no room for error, I mean, it can be hard to keep your cool. They've removed any doubt they belong in this playoffs. Here's Murphy. Pass to Ivy. Mobley, a screen on ball. Here's Ivy. And that one is stuffed right through. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. McGee, a screen on Brown. Here's ball. Soft touch off the glass. And the Hornets lead by 12. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. Boy, they've given their fans plenty to cheer about, that's for sure. Effort, skill, coaching, you name it, they've done it. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And the Charlotte Hornets get the big-time win.